once a boy enrolls in a cricket academy for cricket coaching. He doesn't know anything about cricket yet, not even about how to hold the bat and how bowling is done. Seeing the rest of the students batting on the first day of coaching, he too gets eager to bat. He goes to the coach and says, Sir, may I also bat? The coach said, No, today is your first day. Today you will ball only. Come to the pitch. He went to the pitch. The coach instructed him to go 50 steps back and come running fast and ball straight on the line aiming the middle stump. He did the same. When he threw the ball on the middle stump line, after the bounce, the ball turned slightly to the left and missed the stumps. He was a little surprised. I had thrown the ball right on the line. Then why did the ball turn slightly to the left? He asked himself. He balled again. This time also the same thing happened as before. After the bounce, the ball turned slightly to the left. Why this is happening? He asked himself again. He balled four more times and every time the same thing happened again and again. The coach was watching everything from afar. He knew what was making his student so surprised. After the over, he went to the coach and asked, Sir. Whenever I ball, why does this ball turn slightly to the left and go away without hitting the stumps? The coach said, Dear son, could you feel the cool wind blowing across the pitch? The wind was affecting the ball. The ball was turning due to the wind blowing across the pitch. It was the unseen wind factor that was affecting the outcome of your actions. The first thing you should do when you arrive at the field is check the wind. My dear brothers and sisters, in life too, in every situation, there are hidden variables. These hidden variables are unseen factors that can influence the outcome of an action. For example, the wind could affect the ball's direction. And since hidden variables are found in nearly every situation, the actions we do often yield unexpected results. This unpredictability is a fact of life. To illustrate this, suppose you cross the street to catch the bus waiting on the other side. You might get the result you expect. That is. You cross the street and catch the bus. Or you might get less than you expect. As you are crossing the street, the bus drives away. Or you might get more than you expect. As you are crossing the street, a friend driving by sees you and offers you a ride. Finally, you might get something completely different than the result you expect. After you get halfway across the street, you might wake up three days later in a hospital bed after being hit by a car. For the same karma, there can be four different falls. Why? Due to hidden variables, the unseen factors that can affect the outcome of an action. There are actually two kinds of action or karma and their results or fall. The first kind are Drishya Karm and Drishya Fal. Drishya means seen. You know what you did and you can see and measure or relate the outcome of your actions. The second kind are Adrishya Karm and Adrishya Fal. Adrishya means unseen. You did something unconsciously and now after having seen the unsuitable outcome, you are not ready to take the responsibility of your actions. For example, you kicked your elder brother in sleep. The next morning when your brother asks you to apologize, you say, what was my mistake? I was sleeping quietly. 
I think you all are clear. When you say, I know, I did my work perfectly, but it happened the opposite. Look for the hidden variables. Your Adrishya Karma In the Bhagavad Gita, Chapter 14, Verse 19, Lord Shri Krishna is saying, Nanyam gunebhya kartaram yada drashta nu pashyati gunebhyascha param vetti mad bhavam so digachati. When wise persons see that in all work there is no agent of action other than the three gunas, and they know me to be transcendental to these gunas, they attain my divine nature. I hope you learn. Krishna bless you all. Jai Shri Krishna. Jai Shri Ram.